Yo, 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 what is up, people? Back with another video. If you guys are enjoying the content, please leave a like. But today, we will be reviewing the Hogwarts Legacy common rooms. Right now, I'm in with my Gryffindor, so we'll take a look at the Gryffindor one. But yeah, let's get into this. Okay, we are here with the Gryffindor common rooms. Uh, obviously, it's this painting with a password. Uh, the only thing that's a little different is this painting in the movies is technically on the moving staircase, but this one is not. It's just in a hall. But if the painting opens up, it's just this little tunnel behind it. And this is a common room. I really like this. It kind of has like a castle feel, but I also love the wood that they added into it. Um, there's not too much stone. It has a good amount of variety. Oh, my bad. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cozy. I really like the way this one looks. It has a nice like outdoor feel. If you come over here, this is where the common or where the dorm rooms will be. So if we walk up here, then there's this balcony. Yeah, it looks like this little stairway area, which is actually really cool. I really like that. Peace. Nobody likes you. Then this is their little dorm room. I like this. It has kind of like a cabin vibe with all the wood and the like nice little fireplace in the center. Still don't know how they get wood put in that. Like, there's no way that wood fits in there. But other than that, I really like the way this one looks. I don't... What year is this? Uh, not mine. So I think mine is one down. Yeah, this one's the fifth year's common room. Pretty much the exact same looking. <clears throat> but they're really nice. I really like the layout and looks of this. And right over here, you open this little door. And there's a little couch. Nice little cozy area. Um, but then it looks over the whole thing. Like, that looks amazing. Uh, I also like how, like, the stone is kind of covered up right there with the cloth. So it doesn't, like, have too much stone. It has a nice balance in this one. I really like it. Um, but yeah, this one, I really enjoy. I like the way those lanterns look. Um, let's go over to the Ravenclaw. Okay, guys, we are back with the Ravenclaw. So this is their doorway. Uh, with theirs, instead of a password, they have a riddle they have to solve, which is kind of interesting. I feel like I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd be, like, too tired or stuff and be like, I don't know, just let me in. <laughs> Has a nice entrance. It's a cool little bird with the stars. I really like that. This one gives me more of a castle feel. The last one kind of gave me kind of a cabin feel. But this one definitely has more of, like, a castle feel with how the roof looks and stuff. Um, it's not bad. I like it. Um, nice big open area for a common room. This one does not have a balcony to overlook the common room, which, uh, kind of sucks. Let's see. Can we can't go down there for some reason. Oh, wait, no, they have a... Oh, wait. So they have this higher up area, which is above the common room. So they kind of have, like, a common room overlook. Not much as the other ones do. But yeah, up here, pretty nice and cozy. Still kind of gives me the castle vibe more than the other one. Then we come over here. This is a seven-year rooms. Seven-year rooms. They have each single ones, which is actually pretty nice. And their, their areas look pretty dope. Still has that castle kind of vibe, especially with the drapes like that. Then if we go down to the fifth year, right here is the fifth year common room. And then they have theirs as bunk beds instead of separate. Um, still like this one, but yeah, it is different. Uh, I don't see a fireplace. Yeah, I don't see a fireplace for this place. That's a common room for Ravenclaw and the dorm rooms, which is pretty cool. I like them, but they definitely have more of a castle vibe, which I'm not really kind of like that. I kind of like a cozy cabin feel, but we'll see what the other two have for us. So let's head over to, I think, Slytherin. Okay, guys, here we are with the Slytherin. Uh, this is the door. I know you guys are like, there's there's nothing there, but there is a password to get in, just like Gryffindor. Theirs is with this snake, so I would say the password, and then this snake comes up. And then you get 
greeted by these mermaids right here. Then you head down here. Then there's this waterfall, which is kind of broken because right here with the waterfall, it kind of like goes through the bars like that. Um, the pillars look pretty cool. Uh, this one kind of gives me more of a sewer vibe. Yeah definitely more of a sewer vibe but it's still pretty cool like over here i really like because it's like under the lake it looks really cool here's a bit of the common room with that cool little lighting then here's like kind of the main one right here this one's like one of the bigger common rooms because over here is where the dorm rooms are right here this is what they look like kind of like Gryffindor a little different though because there's just like stone instead of wood like the same bed layout this one I probably probably like more than Ravenclaw Ravenclaw is cool but like I kind of like the feel of this one it's not too bad I really like this one so then this is like their walkway for it this is also kind of a, like a sewer vibe like the basculus but then there's these stairways which I, I actually do not know where they go yeah I've never been up here oh so here's the older years I think this would be a seventh year seven years seem to be uh the ones with the fancier rooms so i would assume this is yeah seven years seventh year i really like the fireplace that looks dope and then they just have this statue up here with the little thing behind but yeah that will be slytherins let's go over to hufflepuffs which will be the last one we're reviewing okay guys we are here with the hufflepuff our last one theirs is kind of down in this brewery room theirs is also unique uh they don't have to do a password there's the door but normally it doesn't open unless you knock on this center barrel but then once you knock on that barrel with the secret knock then this opens up you go in here i kind of like this kind of gives me like a hobbit feel kind of like yeah kind of like the hobbit i feel like um nice greenery room because you know hufflepuff are gardener people Okay, so that one's like the main one, and then over here is another common room, which kind of looks dope. I really like the look of this one. I kind of like this. I think it doesn't meet Gryffindor, but I think it hits higher than Slytherin in my opinion. Yeah, so this is the first years. First years, they have this nice little like cottage room, which I really like the way this looks. Nice, cozy kind of feel. They don't have a fireplace, but I'm pretty sure these people are fancy with the heating. Uh, let's go to the fifth years. Let's see how the fifth years looks. So fifth years looks just the same as first years. Pretty nice. I really like the feel of this. Then let's head over to the seventh years. See if they have anything fancy. Uh, right here, seven. So I do notice they only get three beds with the seven years, which is fancy. The room isn't too much fancier than the others, though. I still really like the look of these rooms. They are amazing. And these tunnels, like, look at that. I love the way the wood is and stuff. This is really amazing. I really like this. Okay, so yeah. Apparently, they don't have a upper area that I could get to yet. But it does look like they do have an upstairs area right up there to overlook the common room. Yeah, see, this has, like, a nice cozy feel. And I really like the, the greenery around the room. Now, time to kind of level out which room or which ones I like more. First, I know a lot. Of, I'm probably going to get hate for this, but I really like the look of the Gryffindor. I love how it looks and how the architecture is with the stone and the wood and just like kind of mixture of everything. So I put Gryffindor at one and then second place I would probably give to Hufflepuff. I really like the way they, theirs looks greenery. They have a lot of wooden structure around which I really kind of like because it gets that cabin feel that I like. Then with the third place, honestly, probably have to give it to Slytherin. This has kind of like a sewer feel, but I still kind of like it. It looks pretty dope. Kind of has like a cave feel too, so that's something I kind of like and I feel like I would enjoy. And then Ravenclaw is the last one. Not anything against it. It looks cool and stuff. It's just um, not something I personally like. Yeah. That is the ratings of the common rooms. If you guys are enjoying the content, like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you guys want to see anything else. I'm going to try to come out with some Sons of the Forest content. Uh, thanks for uh, watching my videos. You guys stay simply amazing.